we want to teach our students to think and act more like experts do. And peer instruction is a powerful technique for supporting this goal. Effective peer instruction requires a good question that gives each student an opportunity to practice being an expert. I want to show you two questions, one that's not great and one that's better. Imagine you're a math instructor or an instructor of any course that teaches mathematical techniques. Students need practice, so this seems like a pretty good question to ask. Evaluate this integral. So here's what happens. The students look at it. They sit down alone, one by one. They work through the calculations on their piece of paper, and then they click A, B, C, D. After that vote, the instructor looks at it and says, hmm, you're not agreeing on this. You better talk to your neighbors. So what happens then? If you and I have different answers, I'll say, yeah, I got C, and you got D. And we'll say, ah, crap, I don't know what happened. Whatever. What would experts do if they disagreed on the answer to this question? They'd talk it through. They'd work it out together. They'd say, oh, look at this. Uh, integration by substitution, I think. So let's put u equals what? Uh, 1 plus x cubed. Right, and then du with 3x squared dx. Let me plug this back in. And, this, and then they'd work through it. They'd talk it back and forth. They'd say, oh, look, that's what went wrong. Okay, here's how to do it. So why not let all students talk that way? Here's a new version of the question. Let's help the students sound like experts. Which of the following is an incorrect step when using the substitution method to evaluate this definite integral? And here's the steps that the experts would talk about. U is 1 plus x cubed, u, x squared dx. Here's 1 third, 0 to 4 root d. Oh, look at that. I forgot to change the limits when I did the substitution. Yeah, that's the problem right there. That's the kind of conversation that we want our math students to be having. I want to help you. I want to help my students talk and sound like expert mathematicians or whatever kind of a course it is that uses mathematical calculations. Let's put words in their mouth. Let's put expert words in their mouth and show them what it's like to sound like an expert.